If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. If you're a student or a bachelor or even just someone who's starting off with a studio apartment in a brand new city and you do not know what to do with this small space that you now call home, this video is for you. Hey all, welcome back to Design Cafe Guides, your expert guide on all things interiors related with yours truly, Ananya Joel. Well, in this guide, we're breaking down all of the information step by step. So by the end of this, you would be having all the things that you require to convert your basic apartment into fancy space. Point one, note down your requirements. First and the most basic thing that you need to get straight is to be crystal clear with your set of requirements. Once you have a clear picture of what are your wants and needs, then we can figure out where to place each of these elements. Point number two, identify the direction for bed. Now the direction of the bed has to be Vasu compliant because this is something pretty much everybody sees. The best sleeping direction considered as per Vastu Shastra is to sleep with your head pointing southwards. Now the worst sleeping direction happens to be north to south body direction. Now all you need to do is download a compass app on your phone, identify the four directions and lock your bed position based on these. Point number three, explore space saving storage options. Now that we've locked in our bed position, it's going to be all the more easy to identify spaces for the rest of the thing. It's just like putting together a simple puzzle. Now, because we're talking about a small space here, it would make more sense if you went for space saving options. Like here, we have a murky bed. Now, this is a simple sofa during the day and it can open up into a nice queen size bed during the night. At Design Cafe, our USP is to get you that 20% extra storage space in your existing home. So we have a lot more space saving options. Point number four, identify the space for your wardrobe. Now, how do we identify space for your wardrobe in a room? Well, it's very simple. Pick the largest wall. We've given a large floor to ceiling sliding wardrobe. Make sure you do the same because this takes up less space while using the wardrobe. And also, this gives the illusion of a larger space when compared to a regular wardrobe of seven feet and a separate loft on top. Now inside the wardrobe, you can have lots of accessories, drawers and more to make sure that your space is optimized to its fullest. Point number five, add lots of mirrors. Now talking about illusion, mirrors are something that makes your space look way bigger than it is. So when you're designing smaller spaces, make sure that you add lots of reflective surfaces like how we've done here. For an entire floor to ceiling wardrobe, we've gone with tinted mirror and also right next to our TV unit, we also have a large mirror which can be used as a dresser. Now the reason why we have tinted mirror in all of the places is to make sure that it doesn't reflect too much light when you're walking around and isn't distracting. Point number six, opt for wall hung storage. So in this TV unit, like you can see, the unit is uh, stuck to the wall and not placed on the floor. The reason for this is that when the units are pushed towards the wall and not kept on the floor, the floor space is clear and neat. This way we get the illusion that the space is bigger than it is. Point number seven, look for dead corners and use them for storage. Now, sometimes in our home, we might end up with spaces or corners which are pretty much useless and can't be seen by anybody. Consider these as a blessing in disguise because now you just have that one more storage space that you can use to hide away all your clutter. Here, we have given ledgers to store books. This is great because it's right next to a study table and underneath this is also a pull-out drawer. This can be used as a file cabinet or organizer rack and more. Point number eight, use of textures and colors. This is a very in thing in 2022. 
adding textures and colors to any space can brighten up and bring it to life. This space we are at at the moment has lots of textures and colors, uh, be it the fluted panel, the mirrored panels, or even different shades of purple, which is making the space cozy and inviting. Point number nine, good lighting is important. Now, did you know that you can make any space look fancy just by adding some good lighting and also a few swanky fixtures? Well, here we've given this pendant light, which definitely looks expensive, but they start at around 3000 rupees. So they're quite affordable, even for our rental homes. Point number 10, load your vanity with lots of storage space. Now in smaller apartments, the bathrooms can also be quite compact in size. And for this reason, we need to make sure that we're giving lots of storage. It could be for our mops, brushes, or even half a dozen cleaning products that we don't like to see on a daily basis. Now here in this small vanity, We've given a large door below the sink and also this really cool half closing, half open sort of shutter for the mirror. Those were the 10 points to help you design your small apartment without compromising on your wants or your needs. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and also comment in the comment section below if you have any cool space saving hacks that have worked for your small home. You could also leave all of the designing to our expert interior designers. You can click in the link in the description box below to get in touch with us for your home interiors. Until next time, take care, see you all.